Hi friends, my name is Ashley. I'm a library assistant here at the Haywood County Public Library, and in this video we're going to be making our very own leaf art. Now, you should have picked up some packets of leaves from the library. Um, hopefully these will last until you make it home. There are also some printout of leaves if you choose to use that, or you can go to Michael's and buy some fake leaves. The best thing to do would be gather your own. Go outside and find some pine needles, some little helicopters, which are maple seeds, and some pine cones. Try not to pick up dry leaves. You need flexible leaves that can bend, either right off the tree or on the ground. Once you have your leaves, place them inside a book to flatten them out. They will dry and cause the book pages to curl from water damage. Place a heavy item on top of that book and leave it for about a day to a week. They need to be flat and dry like these. Once you have an assortment of leaves, it's time to gather our materials. Once the surface is protected, Grab some Sharpies and a glue stick. You can also use acrylic paint, paint pens, and liquid whiteout. The main colors you'll be needing is black, white, and orange. Here's an example of what we're going to be doing. We are going to start with this leaf and turn it into a turkey. If you notice it's hard to write on your leaf, remember that you can always rotate it. Here I'm making a peanut shape which is going to turn into the turkey's body. You can use any color you want. I used a thin point sharpie which broke a hole in the leaf. I found it easier to use wider markers. Just press gently and it has the same effect as a thin marker. Again, with this thin tip, I had a hard time coloring it in. I found it much easier to use whiteout. Don't forget to add the waddle and its feet, or you could glue it on the paper and draw them. Now we're going to turn this leaf into a fish. Start off with a white eye. You can design this fish however you like, or you can follow the steps. Our fish needs gills and fins.
If you want to glue your leaves down, be very, very gentle. If you want to make your leaves into a different shape, you can always cut them. Now use your imagination to help your creation come to life. After trimming this leaf, we're now going to take some white out to create its eyes. This leaf is going to become a baby chick. Don't forget its beak. To make anything 10 times cuter, add a small circle for light reflection. Using this leaf, it is going to become either a cat, a fox, or any kind of animal you want. Start with the white out to create its eyes. After the whiteout has dried, we're going to trace around his eyes so they pop. With the eye, start from back to front. First, color in the iris of whatever eye color your critter is. Then, using black, make the pupil of the eye. And now, light reflection. I want to use these pine needles as whiskers. I'm using a thumbtack and poking tiny holes where I want the whiskers to be. Then, I'm going to take the pine needles apart and slowly thread them through.
These two leaves are going to become the ears, or you can draw your own. Once you have your leaf glued on the paper, place something heavy and flat like a book on top of it. If you would like to preserve your leaves, you can use a clear gloss spray on them. Just be sure to use this outside and at least 12 inches away where your ink or paint will drip. Here are some different examples of leaf art. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out the library's website for more virtual programming. The music today was by Prod Lee.